Because uh, Robbie is just leading the charge. I try. Um, um, so what we need you to do first, though, is give us the game name, and then what we'll do is we're going to go through each pitch. If you've got a piece of paper or something, and um, at the end of it, we're going to do a show of hands vote. Okay? You're not allowed to vote for your own idea because if you did, that team would win. Um, <laughs> so uh, we quickly prototyped a new voting model. Okay. So give us what's the name. Okay, over on the back table we have the winning game with big issue, big word. It's 7am, rainy in Melbourne, commuters are getting off the train and they're shitty. You have to ask yourself, do you have the vocabulary and what it takes to be Melbourne's biggest big issue vendor? Big issue, big word is a fast, fun, teamwork based vocabulary game where you'll outwit your opposition and take over the kingdom of Melbourne's big issue, distribution. Big issue, big words, don't blow your vowels. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go with the high rollers and the hockey room. Beach fences room. Alright, look at this. Here we have. gaming companies rich. So we have, is it paper? No, it's a game. You can play this on paper, you can play it on the ground. All you need to do is mark an area. In the middle, you've got your lonely, poor man, woman stuck in a flood. But what we're going to do is we're going to build a bridge and get them out. The aim of the game is to collaborate. The sooner you collaborate, no. So you're actually working gaming against the clock. So, you've got three minutes for each round. As soon as the bridge is built, your person is um, saved and you do not die. <laughs> so, collaborate or die. And, uh, no, collaborate or die. And the dice. And the dice. So, no, we don't want all the instructions. <laughs> collaborate or die. Collaborate or die. Okay. Um, what about. Um, I know this group down here, the one that was sort of merged or taken over your partnership but then left a few people who they didn't quite bring across or something. Okay, so here we go. What's the name of the game? It's called Poverty. Poverty, one of my favourite games. It's about, it's about coming out of poverty. You start the game and you've got nothing. It's a memory based game, a bit like memory. So you've got a bunch of cards on a table and you've got to turn over cards. You get a, a, a pair, you get to turn over a pair of cards. If it matches, you get to keep it and try again. If not, it goes on to the next person. So uh, basically, you've got to find as much food and clothing and shelter as you possibly can before, and, and whoever has the most pairs has the most stuff and wins the game. But there are a bunch of uh, sad faces in there, and if you get a sad face, you lose a pair. That's how it goes. Aww. First one to, to win everything. That's how it goes, guys. Life's tough, and <laughs> this game's tough. Yeah, it'll test, it'll test your senses. Everything. It's just there we go. Comedy, play it or don't. Well, um, it sounded like capitalism to me. Uh, so, I think I think we've got to amp the sale, like just turn up the sales a little bit. You know, like, let's take a page out of Robbie's book and less explaining, more sort of building the suspense and romance. But I still want to know a bit about the game. We've got to bring yeah. it to life. We, we really want to. So, we're going to hand it to Robbie. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. What's the name of the game? Oh, I'll get to it. Mark, you better write down again. In life, there's three types of people. There's good people, there's bad people, and there's people that play cooperation. Yes! Now we're talking. In our game, you have to learn how to cooperate to win social capital. Collaboration is everything in this new world order. Our game is fun, easy to learn, educational, and many of you that have already played here today have said to us how much you enjoy it. 
So those of you who haven't, come over and play it again. <laughs> Basically in our game, you have to work around the board and attempt to actually compete or cooperate with your opponents, trying to win social capital gems. The first to ten is the winner. But beware, if you get a bad reputation while you're playing that you always compete, everybody won't want to play with you and you won't get your gems. So the moral of the story here is learn how to compete. No? Learn how to compete. <laughs> Briefly. So, if there's one game you play tonight, it's not Robbie's game. It's cooperation. Yeah. Well, uh, very nice, very nice. Day. Okay, um, I think we should get the um, Glee Club or the Mindful Group over here, uh, the world's biggest rapid prototyping workshop group uh, in the history. Um, recently arrived back from uh, Guatemala after spending 45 days with the shaman and I'm not bullshitting is Sandra Rico who's going to lead it off. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, home team, we're all in this together. This game is about learning about the power of collaboration, that the many is better than the one. In life, we're all in this together, so why not simulate this via this game and make it happen in real life. You start out with pieces that are made of dough that are mouldable and can evolve as you go because we are always evolving beings. You're a homeless person, that's the basic scenario. You need to obtain five things to help you in your situation. Shelter, food, money, clothing and love. Now, it's not about competition. Love's gotta be there. It's not about competition because if you obtain all five first, you don't win. The aim of the game is for everyone to obtain all five things. You move along the board, basic sleeps and ladder type game. You can collaborate via trading, giving things up, it's all about helping each other out. And you also have real life obstacles along the way, or temptations like drugs or illness, but also good things along the way like finding a job or learning how to volunteer. What an awesome, wow. Wow, what an awesome idea that is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm too overwhelmed by that, Sandy. Um, and here we have the guys who uh, have got a very good game, and I think I even know the name of it, but I'll let you share that. Environopoly. Alright. Yeah. So this is direct from Dubbos 2011. Um, are you sick of going around in circles? Are you sick of leaders talking in riddles that really, really no action? Are you sick of those carbon credits that, credits that just seem like carbon tax? Are you sick of working alone on climate change? Got no friends? Are you sick of <laughs> seeing no end in sight going round and round and round and round and round in circles? Do you want a new way of working? Well, yes. this is the game that changes the game. <laughs> this is our environment, Environopoly. Environopoly. So just enough difference to satisfy the legal department work that out. We don't want to be too close, but just still any idea without getting the infringement notice. Uh, this is a, girl, a game for world leaders. In essence, you go around the board, pretty simple. The countries that share us at sustainability, like Australia and the US, they cost a lot of money, but you get a lot of money back at the end. Those countries that are really good at this, you don't make a lot of money in buying them, but you can get lots of property quicker. This is what property is. This is a wind, oh, sorry, a solar panel. You can upgrade to a solar farm. You can, uh, simple things like you can buy um, solar, you can buy um, wave. You can get stuck in a UN job and never get out. In fact, get out. Every other player needs to go around the board twice to get out. You are there forever. Or you can get an activist job. You get lots of community engagement, but you have no resources. <laughs> Ten seconds, go around the board, go around the board, go around the board. This is a game that never ends under, ca under capitalist principles. It's just like the knockout is better. The only way to win this game, but no one tells you how to win the game, is to collaborate. You share resources, you put the money into the Commons Trust in the middle, and the saying in the middle is, save the ocean, save the planet. <laughs> Yes. Nice.
Team over there. And last, last but not least. Rory. You have a smiley face. <laughs> oh, we're glue. Hello. <laughs> right, so um, we uh, came up with Community Pillars. Um, ours is an educational game. <coughs> so we're targeting teachers to uh, you know, buy this for their school kids. And the idea is there's six Community Pillars. And they are health, agriculture, school, justice, transport, and communication. And we're teaching children about what forms community. So the idea is they go around the board. Um, everyone rolls the dice at the same time, and you either steal or collaborate on collecting the pieces, and everyone collects one of each piece. Um, so the idea is um, we're teaching kids um, what life is about. You know, um, you're either collaborating or you're exploiting an opportunity. And, <laughs> and um, that's all my notes. Okay, there we go. Now, I know we've got a lot of the sort of mindful, collective conscience, social justice people in here, um, but you're a bunch of competitive pricks anyway. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to do show of hands votes. Um, you can't vote for your own team. You can't vote for your own team. You can only vote once. We trust you. Whether we should or not, we'll find out. So, remember, big issue, big word. Does anyone vote for big issue, big word? A sip of your votes allowed. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you get the one on the back? Yeah. So seven. We're all done with seven. Okay. Right. And we're going to count you as you go out the door, so that's how we're going to check it all out. Uh, collaborate or die, the game where you build bridges for people stuck in floods on a piece of paper. Um, any votes for that? We've got a few there. Five, six, seven, eight. 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 <laughs> nine. <laughs> what are we going? Eight or nine? Eight. eight. Don't, don't listen to Peter. Is <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Who wants to vote for poverty? Yeah. We got one. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Eight. Eight. All right. Yeah, like Again, we learn to compete and cooperate. Coopetition. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. No. Oh. Friggin' mindful people. The collective. Oh. Peter's, Peter's voted about 12 times already. <laughs> we got nine on competition. Yeah. What about home team? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Peter, do I hear seven? <laughs> seven against you, Peter. You got the guy at the back? Eight. Wait, put your hands up again. Home team. Home team. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. Does someone just keep yelling out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, seven. Competitions hit the front. There we All go. right. Environopoly. Oh, oh, look at this. Any votes for community pillars? We got a vote for ourselves. We get two votes for community pillars. All right. So um, the winner, the winner tonight, uh, Environopoly, in a spirit because we're all about social change and collaboration, gets to clean up and put all the kids back. <laughs> <laughs>